Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to show you guys the issue that I have with vector design in WeCreate software here. Um, so as you can see here, I imported this uh, fighter panda here that I've been working on, and uh, this is a rasterized version in order to make it look proper whenever it imports into WeCreate. But even that has an issue because this cut line is actually supposed to be on top. It's on top within the file itself. Um, so it should at least show up on top. We can correct that pretty easy. I'll show you that here in just a second. But here's an actual vector of it. So the vector should come in with at least black lines in a different color. So you can select the color all as one unit. Kind of like Xtool software. But it just shows up as one solid colored line here. So the only way that you can kind of rectify this instead of like going each individual piece and selecting black for the fill, you kind of highlight them all, hold down shift, and then click on the outside edge for the cut line. And then we can change it to like a fill engrave. And then um, in this mode here, it's going to do each operation separate. So it's going to do all of this black connected around his uh, outline here as one operation, then each eye, then each knuckle, all individually instead of a rasterized image that'll go all the way down, back and forth in one smooth motion. Um, that should do this with a vector. I'm hoping that they'll upgrade their software to do this. I don't think it'd be that hard, and I really hope that they do. So if we create, if you're watching this, please uh, upgrade this. Um, and I thought I could get around it by clicking group here. See, it's all one one process now. And then I'll switch it back to fill engrave, and then you can choose like a setting like this. This is exactly what I did in this uh, video that I'm going to show you guys here um, afterwards. So I grouped it, I selected all as one setting individually, and then I sent it to the printer like this, and then I selected the cut path as usual, and then I turned it to seven for my type of wood, because that's what works. And then I submitted it just like this for a vector design. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a, a video of what happens here, and essentially what happens is it will engrave each operation separately here. So hopefully um, there's a way that they can fix this. And then before we jump into that video, let me show you how to correct this right here. So if you rasterize this as an image in um, Illustrator, it's gonna put this white bounding box around it. You can then come over here and click edit image and you can remove the background just by kind of like dragging over the white areas. And there you got the background removed now and click confirm. So now you can see the whole bounding path of the text here. If the, uh, not the not the text, but the line, so the cut line, you can see that entire bounding path here. If for some reason you can't click on this and the image is in front of it still, make sure you go to settings and you have precise vector path turned on. I recommend turning this on. It's kind of silly if you don't have it on, so just turn that on. Otherwise, the bounding box, this square right here, is going to think it's an entire cut area and you can't click on the thing behind it. Super annoying, took me a little bit to figure that out. So just a heads up on that. Now with all that out of the way, I'm gonna show you a video of what happens with the vector and how it doesn't fill this all in in one quick sweeping motion and it does it in separate motions. All right, you guys, so as you've seen, that uh, basically did the outline of him first, and then it did one eye, the next eye, the center of the eye, the center of the eye, and then it went through each knuckle um, and down to his belt there. So that's pretty much uh, what I was trying to point out here between vectors and rasterized images. So this, this uh, laser seems to be built more around a rasterized image um versus a vector image but most lasers are built around a vector image and i think this could be a super simple easy thing that they could fix with an update all they gotta do is make it where it uh, goes across multiple pathways um, and i did try this with different options um, in the past too when they had uh, uh, bi-directional or omnidirectional settings that changed nothing either 
So just a heads up on that. Um, other than that, I hope you guys learned something about um, the differences between vector versus bitmap. One other thing, if you don't know uh, the difference between them at all, is the larger that you make them, the more grainy that a uh, vector or a, a bitmap will become, and a vector image is infinitely scalable. So I can make that as large as I want. It'll always be a crisp line. There'll never be a grain in it. And then this will eventually get more and more grainy the larger that you make it. But other than that, I uh, hope you guys learned something, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.